Welcome to support videos for workload automation. In this video, we will see how to install and configure the Control M Automation CLI. The Automation CLI is a Node.js application that can be installed on any machine and provides a command line interface to the Automation API. Here we are on the machine that we will be installing the Control M Automation CLI on. First, let's go to Node.js download page and install node.js for our system. As you can see here, this is Windows and I'm choosing the 64-bit installation. So let's save that and wait for it to download. There we are. Now let's take a look at it. And as you can see, it's an MSI and we'll just go ahead and install this in the normal way. While we're waiting, just a quick note, you can actually install the automation CLI on any machine that can reach the Enterprise Manager server you're not restricted to machines that have an em client or an agent or any other control m component all right looks like it's finished once node.js is installed you'll notice that a new prompt becomes available a node.js command so there it is we're just verifying that it's there the next thing we're going to do is take a look at our enterprise manager server First, we'll make sure we can reach the Automation API by going to the EM server and the Automation API URL. This will take us to the Swagger UI page, but you notice here that there's a certificate warning, and this is because there's a, a self-signed CA that's created by the Enterprise Manager server the browser is rejecting this and we have to accept it to move past it. As you can see here, we can reach the Swagger UI page, which gives us a list of the services available. So now let's get the CTM CLI TGZ file, which is the node.js application. So let's go ahead and save that and download it. And there it is. So let's take a look at it. it looks like it's in downloads and we can see the zip file there and it's not that large. So what we need to do next is go back to the node.js prompt. Let's maximize it and CD into our downloads directory. And we'll do a listing to make sure we're seeing the file. There it is, the top one. So next we're going to run the npm command. So it's actually going to be npm minus g which is global, and then install, then we pass the file name. The global flag means that it's going to build variables, etc. So if you leave that off, it won't install properly. And once it's done, we can run CTM to make sure that everything is as it should be. There we go. Next, let's clear the screen and set up an environment. So we're going to run CTM ENV to give us the options. Now we're going to run CTM ENV add, the environment name, the endpoint, which is going to be our Enterprise Manager server. Note that you do need to specify the port as well as forward slash automation hyphen API for this. And then it's just a case of giving it the credentials that will be stored encrypted for this user. So let's go ahead and run that and it's created successfully. That concludes this how-to video. You'll find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and on iTunes.